JP Perez and Danny Cox, a very historic day for Purdue Diving. Both of you guys represented uh, the Boilermakers in the finals of the platform tonight. Uh, what does it feel like to be such a, a part of such a historic day? Uh, it was great. Um, you know, it's been a very successful year overall for everyone, and uh, this is a great way to go out. Danny? It's just been an incredible experience, and this weekend was such a great cap to a great, great time at Purdue. That's awesome. Would you guys highlight any individual dives of the day? Danny, I guess I'd start with you. Your last dive, the prelims, was big to lock up a spot in, uh, in the finals. Yeah. My back three and a half twister went really well today. Both lists was one of my top scoring dives. Um, I'm really happy. I've kind of been up and down with that dive throughout the season, so it's great to put two of those together in lists. How about you, JP? Uh, today, in three limbs and finals. Uh, my front three and a half from key dive screen, they were my strongest dives, my most consistent. And uh, in three limbs, uh, I think I dive really just locked in as well for finals. Is it too soon to kind of? Recap the careers. I mean, uh, was this? Did it hit you yet that this is it? Uh, not really. <laughs> no, it hasn't set in yet. I feel like tomorrow is going to really hit us, and you know, it's just overwhelming how awesome it's been. So. Did you ask for any more from your senior seasons? Great cap to an awesome season. Great finish. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. David Budaya, a very historic night for you and the divers, Purdue divers. Uh, three, you and two teammates make the uh, finals of the platform tonight. Uh, what did it feel like to be part of such a historic night? Um, you know, it's always great going to a final, and it's even better going with teammates. Um, you know, it doesn't happen very often where you see three of the same divers from the same team going into a final and a platform and it's still a competition. So it was really awesome sharing that with JP and Danny, and um, also uh, ending it with Adam too. So. I was really excited to be with them. Now you were the runner-up in the platform. You lost to Nick McCrory of Duke, a man, a guy you know very well. You've dove with uh, synchronized platform in the past, and his consistency. Sometimes you gotta just tip your hat to him, I guess. Yeah, you know it was great, great night for Nick. Um, you know we're really good friends, secret partners uh, outside of uh, NCAA's, and um, you know he stepped up tonight for the, the pressure, and um, you know hats off to him. You able to win two championships this week, had two championships at each of your three appearances here at the NCAAs. How would you rank this one among your uh, other performances here? Uh, you know, rating this compared to the others, you know, I'll take, I mean, two golds and a silver. I think that's a pretty great accomplishment. I'm really excited to be part of something historical like that. And uh, six national championships is uh, not bad. Well done, David. Congrats on a great career. Thank you. Adam Soldati, a very historic day for the Purdue Divers. Three divers making the finals of the platform today. Can you put into words how much this day means to you in the program? You know, it's great. It's great to, to see seniors, you know, pulled all together on the last day for uh, Danny and JP particularly. Just an unbelievable ending to be able to walk out and say, you know what, on my final day, the final event, I walk out of here in all America. It's special. Now, you said earlier maybe the sweep wasn't meant to be. Nick McCrory of Duke, hats off to him. Very consistent. He won the platform tonight. Uh, just your thoughts on the overall competition this evening. Yeah, I mean, clearly it wasn't meant to be. It didn't happen. But, you know, I told David right after the contest, I said, you know what, it's not all about the, it's not all about the scoreboard. We had an unbelievable week. There were some amazing highs and lows. And, you know, coming into today, we missed a dive. We weren't good enough tonight. So we got to go back and we got to work on some things. We got world championships coming up in June and we got the Olympics in 12. And so we've got a few little things to tweak and uh, continue to get better. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of pressure on that guy coming into this. But I don't believe it was mental at all. You know, we just made a few physical mistakes and uh, we'll get better. But what just an unbelievable career. What an unbelievable young man. It was just a tremendous amount of God grace all over this week and all over his life and my life. It was just a pleasure to uh, to experience that with him this week. And collectively, it's maybe it's a little too soon to think about this, but uh, what as, you know, basically all three of them being seniors, what they've meant to you and the Boilermakers over the last four years? You know, it's, it's right now you can't even put into words how much, uh, how much they mean to this program. I mean, that was... Those guys, some of those guys were part of my first recruiting class, and, uh, and we've just had some unbelievable ups and downs. And but that's what it's all about. It's not just about the performance tonight, but it's also about how these young men have grown into men, and uh, they're ready to walk out of here as boiler makers and, and, and move out into their careers in society and be husbands and be a be a strong contributor. And that's uh, that's ultimately what it's about. It's not about the points on the board. Congratulations on a big week, Adam. Thank you.